y'all. I am ready to judge some new makeup. There have been some things that have been announced, shown this week that I have some thoughts and opinions on. I have a lot of opinions. I want to hear what y'all think about these new makeup releases. We're going to judge. We're not going to judge each other, but we are going to judge the makeup. You can call me Judge Heather today because I'm going to be sharing my thoughts. I definitely have some feelings. I want to know what y'all think. We do this every Sunday. Happy early Valentine's Day. Happy Super Bowl Sunday. Happy Lunar New Year to everyone. I am really looking forward to talking about this stuff. We have some stuff from Rode. We have some stuff from Juvia's Place. We have some indie releases to talk about. We have some fragrance, some one size, some benefit, a lot of things. So let's jump into it. with something that I'm interested in. Why don't we start on a positive note? That is this primer from NYX. This is the Blur Screen Primer. It has SPF 30. It says it blurs imperfections and grips makeup for 18 hours of wear. I am intrigued by this. I know that you have to put on a lot of SPF a very good amount to get the sun protection you need. I know that a primer, a foundation, something like that is not going to give us all the sun protection we need, but I do think like it's got to help in some way, right? Like it's got to enhance the, the, the SPF benefit. So I'm intrigued and not just by the SPF claim, but by the blur and grip because those are claims that I like in a primer. And NYX complexion products can sometimes be hit or miss for me, but when they have a hit, they have a hit. So I'm intrigued by this. I saw that my friend Leah Janae actually found this in store in her local Ulta. I went to Ulta and I did not see this, but I'm intrigued. It is available now at the NYX site, so I will have that linked down below in the description box. But let me know, are you intrigued by this? It looks really nice. It says it is vegan. It says 18 hour makeup extension. It's cute like ombre packaging. I'm feeling the summer vibes. When I look at the before and afters on the models, I think it looks nice. Let me know what you think about this primer from NYX. NYX is a brand that I'm definitely interested in. Not in every release I want to buy. We talked about the duck lip thing last week. Not interested in that. But overall, as the brand, I'm always intrigued by the products that they put out. I also made a purchase this week from Fleur, the fragrance brand. I love their Tangerine Boy scent and their Father Figure scent. So I saw that they were releasing Strawberry Letter. This is their perfume and it says, crisp, fruity, gourmand, playful juiciness, and then chic decadence. Pulpy red strawberries, juicy plum, florals, like mm, I'm intrigued. I'm hoping this is not gonna be too floral but mm, I'm just intrigued. Red poppy, apple blossom, wild lily, earthy woods, tonka bean, sugared amber, strawberry plum. I did order this from the Fleur site and I will link to it down below. It sold out in less than 24 hours, but I saw on Fleur's Instagram that they said you can sign up to be notified of the restock. So they are gonna restock it. But I also saw on their Instagram, they said, this is exclusive to their website. Several people were asking, is this coming to Sephora? When is this coming to Sephora? And they replied to several people saying it is exclusive to the Fleur site. I don't know what's up with that. I don't know why it's exclusive. Did we talk about this last week? Now that I'm talking about it to you, I feel like maybe we talked about this last week. If so, it's okay. I bought it and I know it already shipped. I cannot wait to smell it. Not interested at all in these new products from KVD. They are releasing Good Apple Blush Duos and Bronzer Duos. I know that when the Good Apple Foundation came out, it was like viral. Everyone was loving it. 
I never tried it. It seemed like people with dry skin were loving it. And the only people that I really saw that had oily skin like me who were loving it were saying like it wears beautifully for six hours and and I'm like okay uh, 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 uh. I'm too busy for that I can't be touching up that often so I decided to skip that foundation I did see it in store and look at it a couple of times and I just I had that gut feeling that my oily skin and my humid climate, it wasn't going to be the one. So I, I'm like, I, I kind of passed on it. And for that reason, since this is part of the Good Apple line, I'm choosing to skip on the duos. They just, I don't know. I'm like, I don't know that this would work for me. These are pore blurring, velvety finish, and last all day. I, I don't know. I don't know. The are, the are, <laughs> there are four blush balm duos for $34 each and six duos in the bronze and sculpt. These are going to be available on the 18th. I do like the shades of the blush. I think these look really pretty and they do look pigmented in the swatches and on the models, but I don't know. I'm like, I feel like between the Say and the Milk Jelly Pop, I feel like I have some cream blushes, the Moira. I have some liquid and cream blushes that I've really been enjoying lately, so I think I can comfortably skip on these. So the bronzer duos though, I don't, looking at them, there's not a shade that sticks out to me. Usually when I see bronzers, my eyes kind of go right to the middle to see like you know, what's in that medium, medium to tan category. And there's no real undertone that gets me. That can really sell me on a bronzer if I see like a golden or olivey undertone, but I'm not seeing it with these. There's nothing really in the shade that's just calling to me. And if I can find a reason to skip on a release, I'm gonna skip. So I remember when I was in high school and in college, ripped jeans, distressed jeans were kind of in, like all of my jeans were ripped, distressed, torn, all of that. And I remember like all of the old heads being like, you paid for jeans with holes in them. Oh my gosh. Are those, those are new jeans. You need to, your mama needs to get you some more blue jeans. What? And I remember thinking like, oh, y'all don't get it. Like, you, you don't get it, What whatever, like this is annoying. <laughs> Not saying that, of course, because I wouldn't be disrespectful, but thinking that, like, oh, <laughs> And now I am feeling like I am old when I see these road phone cases because I don't get it. So th this is a phone case that holds a lip balm and people online are calling this genius and I'm thinking what I, like that it's fine there are phone cases that do all sorts of things hold credit cards have lights on them pop sockets like you you wanted to hold a lip balm th like okay but genius okay <laughs> All right, uh, so clever, a phone case that holds any of the lip treatments coming soon. To me, the phone case itself looks very plain. I, I, I'm missing something here. I'm missing something here. I, I think I'm, I think I'm just, I think I'm just too old to get it, y'all. This is probably not an exciting launch to most, but Pharmacy is releasing a lip treatment lip smoothie that is honey vanilla, and that is why I'm excited. I love honey. I love it. To have a honey vanilla lip mask, I, I need this. Say less, fam. Say less. You had me at honey. I've never tried this formula from Pharmacy, though. I know they have one that's like, red so I think it's apple let me know though am I gonna be happy with my purchase because it's pharmacy so it's not like it's cheap you know it's not a dollar so I'm gonna buy this though 
I love lip treatments. I'm sure if it smells like honey, I will have no regrets. Do I need a pink blush? Another pink blush? No. Yes, I do. I'm going to buy this one size girly pop blush trio. I have the one that was like people going crazy for last year that was the cool tone light pink. I love this formula from one size. I am 100% getting this vibrant pink girly pop. It is at Sephora now. It is in my Sephora cart and I intend to order it. This is a pigmented formula. Think Juvia's Place liquid blushes. Think Rare Beauty liquid blushes. You are getting pigment with one size. I love this concept because you have a cream, you have a powder, and then you have a almost like highlighter blush topper glowy thing underneath. So you're getting like three different formulas. You don't have to wear them all three at the same time. I, I have the uh, orange one and I have that cool tone pink from last year. And I really enjoy these. When I saw this shade, I said one size say less. If you have oily skin, one size makes products for us. Okay, they last, they stay. I really like this color. I love the way it looks on the models. I love the way it looks in the pan. I love for Sephora to take my money and give me this blush. I need it. I'm passing on these new duos from Benefit, although they do look cute. We have two new duos and we have Twinkle Beach and Starry Escape. It's a mini blush highlight palette for $28. I, I think these are cute. I am not rushing out to purchase them, but if I saw these in store, I would definitely take a look. The blush shades look pretty. The highlighter shades look pretty. I like that they have duos. I think a lot of people would really like that. I think these are cute. It's just not something that I'm like, yes, add to cart right now. It's something that's like cute, but I don't have to buy it right now. Let's talk about this new hair dryer from Dyson. This is the Supersonic R Dryer. And I do not have the Dyson hair dryer. I do have the air wrap, which I love. Y'all know if you ever look in my description box or the products I tag, I'm using my Dyson air wrap all the time. I have the air straight and I saw this pop up and I'm like, wait a minute. This looks really intriguing, especially, I mean, this is what I'm thinking maybe for people with mobility issues or people that can't lift a lot of weight, but still want to like style their hair because this says it, it is 20% smaller and 30% lighter with intelligent heat controls to measure air temperature and an aim to prevent heat damage. So it's smaller and lighter than their other dryer. So I don't think Dyson is saying like, you need this. If you have the other, like throw it out. No, like, no, if you're happy with it, great. But I like that they are innovating and coming out with products that are lighter and smaller. I don't know. I'm just thinking like if you, if you are somebody who has an issue, like really holding things like that, if it's too heavy, something lighter could always be better. That's just, that's my thought. It looks cool. I mean, I'm sure like anybody could could use this that likes a good hair dryer, but that was my immediate thought. So I was very intrigued. I don't need it, but I'm always happy to see innovation. Makeup Forever is coming out with new setting powders. They are available now. These are the HD Shine Controlling and Blurring Setting Powders, Super Fine Setting Powder, Diminished Excess Shine, Soft Matte Finish for 24 hours. No caking doesn't enhance texture. It's great for dry skin types, medium coverage, matte. And I, I don't know. Makeup Forever has been reformulating a lot of their products. I did go to Sephora last weekend and tried to see if they had the new bronzers. They did not. And I definitely didn't see these powders. So I don't know. I would be curious to see these. I love the HD Forever Skin Foundation so much. So I would like to see these in person. I would like to maybe like feel the texture. Of course, on the models, they look beautiful, but 
I don't know. I don't know if I need it, but I would be interested to see it. Fantasy Cosmetica has shown their Wizard collection. I do have a video on my channel with this collection. I am showing the highlighter palette, the fragrance, and the palette. I really like the color story of this palette. I think it's super beautiful. I really like that we have dark shades and very light shades. Really, really beautiful. This is going to be available on February 16th at 9 a.m. Pacific. I do have an affiliate code with Fantasy Cosmetica. If you want to shop their site, you can use code Heather to get a discount. You definitely don't have to, but just letting you know, and it's in the description box as well. If you ever use my code, thank you so, so much. I like the theme of this palette. I like the shades. I love the purples and blues and yellows together. I said in my video that it was giving me like starry night vibes, and I definitely feel that way. So really beautiful. The palette is going to be available, and then single shadows will be available as well. Glaminatrix is coming out with new liquid blushes. I saw this photo from Glaminatrix and Jazz Loves Makeup. This is liquid blushes that are supposed to be pigmented and dewy. And I believe Glaminatrix is sending me these. I'm not sure if I'm getting all the shades or what, but I am very excited to try the formula. I really like Glaminatrix. I have their palettes, of course, but I have no blush from them. So I'm very intrigued to try this new formula. I think the component of the packaging looks super sleek and it looks like they have several different like shades to choose from. It looks like we have some brown, some peach, some more pinky shades. So I am intrigued. Let me know if when my package gets to me, do you want me to try these? Like, do you wanna see a video? Let me know. Refi is launching a new mascara and it has an interesting wand. This is the Lash Sculpt. Create sculpted, lifted, lengthened lashes. Unique curved comb like applicator. Separate and lengthen. Coming online February 21st. It looks gimmicky. It looks gimmicky, but then I thought, like, actually, maybe this is smart. Like, to have a curved wand. At first I was thinking, no, no, no. But the more I look at it, the more I'm like, maybe I should test it for like the scientific process, you know, find out if it works well. It, it, look, it, it made me think of like a Venus flytrap in a good way. So I'm kind of curious I think I'm gonna have to buy it. I think I'm gonna have to test it. I know it looks kind of gimmicky, but I think I'm gonna have to buy it. I really liked their primer. So I'm intrigued. I feel like I should try this. Let me know. Do you want me to try this? Do you wanna see? I do, I do, I do have that curiosity. What do you think? Are you thinking like, no, this is a gimmick. This is silly. It's just, them trying to get hype. I don't know. I'm curious. Now, Bloom Bunny also launched a mascara. They said it's like just a mascara. They just want it to do what it's supposed to do. The wand kind of reminds me of the Too Faced BTS mascara. I have been wearing this the past few days and I did test this in a video Friday, I believe. And I I'm liking it so far. I'm slow with testing mascaras. I like to test them and I usually don't really know what I think till after like a week or two when I've been really using them. So I can't say too much yet, but so far I think it's nice. It's uh, available now. You can use code Heather. Again, I will have all my codes in the description box, but I really like Blend Bunny and I like seeing an independently owned brand, a woman owned brand coming out with new products. So yeah, I'm going to keep testing it. The Omni Lash Lash Perfecting Mascara and I'll definitely review it probably in a few weeks. Makeup Revolution has a totally Y2K collection. It is available now. I will link to it down below. This is not for me. I don't need this, but I think this looks fun. It's cute. It's a cute take on the Y2K makeup trend. They've got some shimmers, some purples and blues. I 
Oh, I remember the makeup of Y2K. I remember I had this like silver liquid liner that I loved. You could not tell me that that did not look amazing to have this silver right across my lash line. I thought it was amazing. And I thought of that when I saw this collection. So I do think they captured Y2K. It does look very like young, a little like not my vibe, but I do think it's cute, just not for me. Now I bought this new launch from REM. Let's talk about it. I love the REM foundation for the oily skin. It is here for me. So REM launched new Hypernova collection. I bought a blush and I bought two bronzers actually. I wasn't sure, so I'm like, let me just get two shades. Okay, I bought two. So there are satin matte blushes, a blurred soft focus effect blush. Say less. Say less. Satin matte. Come to Mama. $20 each. They also had some bundles. So, like, the blushes are $20 each. Or you could get two blushes and a bag for $39. But you can't pick your blush shades. Like, they, you know what you're getting. They're already in, like, pre-made duos. So, I didn't do that, although I thought about it. I got... I think I bought Skinny Dipped, the soft, warm toned pink, but I was tempted by several. If I like it, I'm gonna buy more. I had several in my cart, but I'm like, no, 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 no. You don't even know if you like it, just buy one. If you like it, you can buy more. Uh, these are available on the REM site, but I believe they are coming to Ulta. The satin matte bronzers are $25 each, and it says uh, they glide on, melt into the skin with a natural looking warmth. So I bought the like two middle shades, I believe, and I am looking forward to trying them. Satin matte, I like that. Not a flat matte, but a very smooth skin-like matte. There is also a bronzer brush and blush brush. I did not pick up either one of those. A hydrating matte setting spray. I did not pick up that either, but maybe I will in the future. I'm just very excited to try the blush and bronzer because I like the foundation, skin tint, whatever it's called, so much that I was intrigued. Essence is coming out with a Magic Filter Luminous product. I just tried one from Catrice, who I believe is like sister companies with Essence, so you can check out my video on that. And I'm not surprised. I mean... This has become like more than just Charlotte Tilbury's Flawless Filter. You know, we had Samantha Ravindahl's brand, Auric, come out with a similar product. More coverage to that one. We had Elf come out with a similar product. More coverage and more dewiness, like a little thicker, their version. And we've had so many brands kind of coming out with this. We talked a few weeks ago about the fact that Dior is coming out with a product like this. I tested one from Catrice, and now we're seeing one from Essence. So I'm not surprised. This right now is available in Europe, but will be coming to the USA site soon. This one, though, has a pump. So the one from Catrice was like the doe foot applicator, but this one has a pump. So maybe you're into that type of packaging. Juvia's Place is also rolling out a product like this, and this one I am going to buy because I'm intrigued by Juvia's Place Complexion products. I really love their I Am Radiance Foundation. Even though I'm oily, I love that. So they're coming out with their Radiance Booster, the Complexion Booster, Illuminating Finish, Blur, Smooth Skin, Doe Foot Applicator. But they have so many shades and undertones. Oh, I cannot wait. So there is... Um, how many different shades? A lot of different shades. These were found in store, so I couldn't find them at Ulta yet or on the Juvia's Place site, but as soon as I can, I will buy them. So Juvia's Place has a good shade range, and I like that to roll out this product that you can use to mix with foundation, use it alone, use it under makeup, whatever. If it's like the Flawless Filter, I'm excited. So yeah, I definitely plan to pick this up. I really like Juvia's Place complexion products. They work well for me. I'm gonna see like what shades I have and pick a shade that's closest to that in this. And then there's also going to be a setting spray. So ready, set, sealed setting spray. I'm excited, 25 and $18. 
I, I have to test this. Moon Marsh Palette from MBA Cosmetics and Basket Case Beauty on Instagram is launching. This looks really pretty. I have never tried MBA Cosmetics, but I love seeing creators collab with their favorite brands. So I am pumped for this. This is really pretty, excited, like I said, to see more collabs. We have some really pretty matte shades. It looks like I like teal color, a lime green, some kind of pinky blue shimmers. It looks like there's light shades, dark shades. So huge congratulations to Basket Case Beauty and MBA Cosmetics. It says that they're going to be having swatches coming soon. And yeah, I think that's a really cute theme, Moonlit Marsh. So the shadow names, it looks like we have some really fun ones. Bogland, Dragonfly, Possum, Pollywog, super cute. Huge congratulations. Milk Cosmetics is bringing back their stacks, and I don't know, like, do they not have these shades in the Rust palette, in their, like, they, they have several neutral palettes, but I guess people have been asking for their petite stacks, warm browns and neutral browns. Also, Penny Gel Liner and Burnish Gel Liner are coming back. FYI, I don't know. Like, maybe you're excited. I, I, I don't, I don't feel like I need this. I feel like I love Melt, but I have plenty, so I'm gonna pass on this. Moon Cat nail polishes we don't often talk about nail polishes but i really like the brand moon cat i have a lot of their stuff and when i saw that they were coming out with a new collection seasons of persephone i love the theme i love the theme these shades look beautiful i have not shopped this collection but i could in the future y'all seem to really like when i let y'all know about moon cat releases so i definitely wanted to talk about it it looks so pretty Game Beauty is releasing a new collection. These are the quads launching pre-order, and this is with Attack on Titan. I do not know this game, but if the quality is like their last collection, the Geodes collection, this is going to be great. The quads look really cute. I do get PR from Game Beauty. I'm not sure if I'm getting this or not. It looks like there's four glosses and the shipping is gonna start mid-April. These quads look pretty. I like a quad. Maybe I could find out if they're gonna send this to me or not because I think these quads look cute. I like how there's one that's like light, more pastel -y shades. There's like a warm orangey quad, a blue quad. I'm like thinking, I'm like, yeah, I should find out because I think this looks really cute. I will link it down below and my affiliate code with the brand is Heather. Let me know. Do you know about this game? Are you pumped? I would love to hear. Lawless is coming out with a new shades and they're Forget the Filler Gloss and their lipsticks. They're, what do they call these? The lip balms. I love this. I have bought a ton of Lawless lip products powder. Like I love Lawless. They also send me things from time to time. I really like that mauvey pink shade Cupid and I like Whisper the Nude. I may have to grab these. I really like Lawless lip products. I think they're so pretty. These are going to be available on the 13th of February. So these will be available on Tuesday, Fat Tuesday. Kopari is releasing some new SPF and this summer I think I'm gonna have to grab these because these look glowy. These are Shield on Glow Sheer Stick Sunscreen and new shades, the Body Mist, Golden Amber, like they have different shades to make you glowy and protected from skin cancer. I could be about that. These look so beautiful. I think once it starts heating up and I'm ready to get in the pool, I'm definitely going to check these out. I don't need these right now, but they look pretty. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. I did film this makeup look for my channel members. If you were curious about the membership, I will link it down below in the description box. If you are not curious about the membership, I will list the products that I used down below in the description box, of course, so you can know how I got this makeup look. I'm feeling the like 
Valentine's vibes. I will also link my dress. This is the dress I wore to the Glam Light party, actually. I hope whatever you're doing, you're having an amazing day. I hope you will subscribe. There's an exciting release coming later today. We could not talk about it in this video, but I will have a video up as soon as I can. It's ready to go. I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting because I don't want to ruin any announcement. I hope you're having a great day. Make sure to subscribe. Let me know what you're excited about and I'll see you soon in another video. Bye!